So Kessichor, we're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to a sold out boardwalk hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey. This is a 12 rounder. Here's round number one. Teddy, I'm assuming many times in your career, you were training a fighter who did not have the reach compared to his opponent. When you were training him in the build-up to that fight, what did you try to cement into his head? The one thing that I had told him is something I had to tell myself, is that we had options. The first was, of course, the traditional way. Tuck up good defensively, move your head, and work your way in. Slip a punch, and now all of a sudden you're closer. You take his height away. The other is to step up and get sort of enticed the taller fighter to come in and be short. Good looking uppercut that time. Halfway through this round here. Right to the head with that right. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Frazier's jammed by an uppercut. The Lions jab can do so much there. He used it well that time. Plus shot, the left hand came in. Lands the counter. Frazier's left now getting into the mix. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Joe Frazier's missing punches. I mean, there's just no way to sugarcoat it. His accuracy isn't there. And there's a reason for it, Joe. His punches are the wide variety. And wide punches, guess what? They don't find the mark. They're not accurate. A well-placed left hand up top. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Scored well with the left downstairs. Showing you some defense there with the block. And here he goes again with the clinching. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Frazier's defense is paying off now. Huge uppercut from Smoke and Joe. Halfway through this round, not able to land the headshot. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by the Lion. Teddy, do you think the sport needs a national or international governing body? Yeah, it's the only major sport, at least it used to be a major sport, that doesn't have that. And there's no unilateral control. And when there's no unilateral control across the board, well, you have too many spots, spots that are weak for the sport, spots that do not serve the sport. He scores with the jab there. Joe Frazier's left, landing well. Good defense, just covering up down low. And we come to the end of round number two. Frazier's got to find a way to land more of these punches. It's okay to throw punches, but not if they're just drifting off to space. Absolutely, and space is it. He's in space. He's too far away. He has to get the right range. but he gave some back with the right hand. A sting. 
swinging uppercut by Joe Frazier. Commits to the overhand right, and it serves him well. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Look at this, another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight, he's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. Frazier's off mark all night long, and Teddy, he's getting... That's a big right hand there. Frazier's tagged by that powerful hook. Teddy, he's stunned right there. Now he's clinching right here. And that's the only way he's getting through this round. He needs to stay there and hold on for dear life. He just missed that shot up top. What impact from that uppercut by the Lion. Targeting that one-two. Count down the final moments of this round. And round three comes to an end. As we start round number four, it's clear to see that it's his precise punching that has earned him good grades on your scorecard, Teddy. With all that accuracy, clean, effective punching, he's up three rounds to zip. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder if he went to medical school because he's been a surgeon tonight. What a sharp, piercing hook by the Lion. Frazier's got a bad cut now that's opened up on his cheek. Unable to connect by Joe Frazier. The Lions' strategy coming in was to land a lot of jabs. Teddy, you got a great amount with an A. Here. Maybe even an A plus, Joe. That plus is the right hand. Once the jab has been there, bang, the right hand came just when it was supposed to. Give him an A plus. by a huge uppercut. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. More and more punishment is being doled out. Frazier's face is absorbing and it's not holding up well. It looks like it's sunset right here on his evening. And he ties up on the inside. Chopping a little wood with that hook. Joe Frazier showing you a little defensive skill there. Able to move away from that punch. Scored well with that right hand to the body. Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. Overhand right can be so effective. And that's the end of round four. He can't see out of that eye, Teddy. It is swollen shut, and now the ref is taking a look. And he should be taking a look, and I think he's going to bring the doctor up pretty soon to look at it himself. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Keep working the body. Flush right hand to the head. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. That's what I want to see. Not able to connect with the uppercut. You missed that uppercut.
Left to the body. Ten seconds to go in this round. Wow, what an uppercut. Three minutes gone by in this round. In between rounds here, Frazier's eye is completely swollen shut. What would you be telling him? Well, this is going to sound a little tiny harsh, but guess what? It's a tough business. I tell him, you have two eyes, right? Use the good one. So here he is again, missing more punches. Now, I like a guy that throws punches, Teddy, but at some point, you got to do more than that. Yeah, I tell you right now, if he was a carpenter, I would not have him coming in doing my kitchen cabinets because he'd be just cutting up a lot of wood, you know, and it'd be all over the place. But I wouldn't have the bookshelves. I wouldn't have the cabinets that I want. I would I'd have a mess. And right now, this fight's getting messy. Good flush shot upstairs. He scores with the jab there. You know, Joe, a lot of times you think about a jab being used by an outside guy, but to get inside, you need a cover. And there, right there, was the cover. The Lions doing really well on the outside, utilizing his jab. Well placed, straight right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. Unable to land clean by Joe Frazier. Joe Frazier's mouth is bleeding badly. The Lions putting a smile on his corner man's face. The ref is stopping the fight. The swelling just much too much. That's it. TKO, technical knockout.